Hey guys, how about another video about the chemical elements of Mendeleev's periodic table? Oh, come on, I'm aware that this is a stupid question. Of course, yes! Look at this beautiful shiny metal. I bet it would be interesting to analyze it. What if we put it in a strong concentrated acid? Hydrochloric acid? Nothing. Um, maybe nitrogen? Nothing still. Sulfur? And again, nothing comes out. And what about alkali? Nothing, because right, here is goddamn titanium, and he just doesn't give a shit about anything. Who are you? Just the 22nd element in the transition metal subgroup? Do you think you're cooler than platinum or gold? How about aqua regia? How about the inert film of oxide, you pussy? A wild mixture in which platinum and gold boils. Well, I don't give a shit. Just as I said, and he's lightweight. Titanium, do you work out? You're pretty ripped. Does that mean it's easy to melt or break it? You wish, pussy! Yep, this is titanium. He doesn't give a shit about stereotypes. And get a load of this, a melting point of 30-38 degrees, and a brinyl hardness greater than a gigapascal. Is that not enough for you? Titanium will scratch your freaking iron with six points on the Mohs scale. If this inner oxide is not enough for you, then please, do me a favor. Connect this cool guy to the power grid, and dip him into the electrolyte pool. Uh, maybe you should do it. Pfft. Fix the voltage, and you'll get a freaking rainbow on the surface of the metal. Why? Well, because it's cool. Because he can do that, and he doesn't give a shit about what they think of him. So, you consider titanium a soulless monster? A metal that hates all living things? <laughs> Well, he himself can become part of the living if he wants to. Titanium is so freaking cool that even your bones consider him their bro and fit him into their life to hang out together for ages. Fear not, Titanium, but the walking dead with titanium prosthetics and plates as your pathetic lead bulls will be useless against them. And by now, you must hate titanium, don't you? You want to destroy it by any means, right? So you rip off his tough inert film of oxide, and what do you get? A thousand degree flame in your face. What? Metal can't burn? Man, you must have forgotten that it's titanium. He doesn't give a shit, which makes him one of the most flammable materials. You don't want to fuck with him. But if you're dealing with titanium shavings, well... Rest in peace, bro. So, we already know that titanium doesn't give a shit about acid, but what if we stir up titanium salt? Well, let's get some tetrachloride. At least a pinch, right? Wrong. The funny thing is, it's liquid. Salt is freaking liquid. It's also pretty damn toxic. Titanium laughs in the face of all principles, even in a mixture. But that's not all. There's an even better trick. If you try to dissolve this salt in water, what will you get? Liquid plus liquid equals liquid. Wrong again. You'll get smoke from solid titanium dioxide, which laughs right in your face. And finally, recognizing all the epicness of titanium, I bet you'd like to know why it is so freaking rare. And again, in your face, because there's a hundred times more titanium in the earth than pathetic copper, which people have known for 6,000 years. Titanium doesn't give a shit about being the seventh most common metal. He decides when and who discovers it. For why the hell share your coolness with those who are not worthy of it? And if there was a ranking of the most epic materials in the universe, titanium would take first place. After all, titanium doesn't give a shit. Well, that's all. This has been Brocco Lee, and thanks for watching. Well, guys, it's been a while since my interpretation of the chemical elements of Mendeleev's periodic table. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I hope, as always, you liked it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and click on that subscribe button. Share the video and comment down below.